If it could be shaped, would chitin from giant insects make decent body armor? I found a previous question on using chitin from giant insects to make weapons and armor, but the answer left out something I had considered for the medieval fantasy setting I'm developing. The answer suggested that the chitin pieces would not likely fit the shape of a humanoid race and would need to be fastened together into something akin to lamella armor. HTTPS colon slash slash world building dot stack exchange dot com slash questions slash three seven nine seven four slash weapons dash and dash armor dash from dash chitin. What I had wanted to explore was the possibility of being able to reshape pieces of chitin from these giant insects, allowing for a properly fitted set of armor to be made, as well as more styles than just looking like the creature the materials were harvested from. Maybe something of an alchemical process that makes it pliable for a short time, allowing it to be shaped. This also could allow for several pieces to be shaped and glued together to make a thicker piece of armor. I imagine the lower density might make it useful for some light armor. Probably not as good as a set of steel plate mail. My question is, if chitin was upscaled to a form that could be shaped into usable body armor, would it be useful in combat? How would it stack up against other forms of armor from the medieval period? At the very least, would it be useful as an alternative armor for people in regions where there is limited access to metal? Or would they be better off with other materials like hide and wood? Clarification? I'm aware that giant insects wouldn't normally be able to exist. This is a fantasy setting, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just interested in the mechanical properties of chitin itself and its usefulness as armor. Hard answer, chitin is very heavy. The reason we don't encounter giant insects in the real world, is that exoskeletons are too heavy. The cube square law says that, even though a small creature can support an exoskeleton, enter image description here. A creature five times longer has a 125 times heavier shell, but is only 25 times stronger. This is why we only get big arthropods in the sea, where the water does some of the lifting for them. Enter image description here. The earliest forms of complex life were arthropods and mollusks. Both have heavy shells. This is the main reason vertebrates did so much better on land. In order to make your chitin armor realistic, you must first solve the problem of realistic giant insects. Failing that I suggest woolen armor. Enter image description here. This is called a gambeson. It is a big uncomfortable woolen blanket that is pretty resistant to slashing blows, especially from jagged weapons, but not so much piercing. Do you think you could cut through your bed duvet in one swing? Thought not. Historically gambesons were worn under metal armor but also on their own since metal was expensive. Maybe you could make a helmet out of several large crabs or insects stuck together? It would be pretty heavy compared to its protective value, but it's only a helmet and not a full body cover. Soft answer, sure. If I were doing this, I would say the technique is to grind up insect, snail, crab shells and with some secret ingredients to make a gluey paste that is then soaked onto fabric. It forms a plasticky but breathable layer that is much less clammy than a gambeson and is better protection against piercing. 